Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, so for today's video, I'm going to do uh, the TBR prompt draw challenge. Uh, so I did it like last uh, month for to pick like my reads for the month, and I'm going to do that again. I had like a lot of fun filming it and doing it, and so I want to do that again. And I'm going to do that again also for the next month because I really enjoy doing that, and I think it's really fun to do. So yeah, uh, I still have the prompts. Uh, as last time uh, in the draw, I throw away the ones I used last time and so yeah, there's still a lot left in the draw, so yeah. I should also uh, say that that um, um, video uh, concept uh, was like created by um, Rachel Catherine, uh, who is like a, another like book girly on youtube so yeah she actually like came up with that id so I, sh I don't remember if i said it in the my first video so i'm going to say it once now and so yeah my uh and so for like my birthday i got so the books that are like there pretty much and uh and the uh and i have other ones that i got also for my birthday and so i have the entire like uh third year series from or like by Lauren Asher so yeah there's four books we have throttled collided wrecked and redeemed so yeah there's the four books in the series so obviously I'm not going to pick those ones the only this one would be like in the ones to like choose from for like for like the TBR for December but yeah and I also got the entire Akotar series so we have a Kotar, a Kamaf, a Kawar, a Kam, a Kamas, and no, a Kamaf, a Kawar, a Kofas, and a Kosf. <laughs> so that's all like the like sh shortened name of the books, but yeah, it's the all a Kotar series. So I'm going to put all those books uh, on my book card, and then uh, we can start. So I put everything on my book card that only like the last one in the Akata series didn't fit there. I have like my bookmarks and my switch there so I don't want to like uh, take that off but I'm going to like rearrange them when I'm done with the picking but uh, but yeah yeah there was only this one so Glow by Raven Kennedy that I didn't read from last month TBR so it's going to go back on the on the different like options for uh, for this month so yeah I'm going to pick uh, five prompts and if um, I don't have a book that correlates to the prompt that I picked I will uh, just buy a new one or like ask for one for Christmas and, and, and yeah so the first prompt uh, a book in a series so yeah I don't know if you can see, but I guess that's more like to make you like uh, continue the series that you started. So I'm going to um, to choose a, a book that is like second or third or whatever in the series. So this is the fourth book in a series, and so this I haven't started. This is the second one. This is the third and final one. This is also part of the series. And yeah, that's it. So I think that I want to choose Kingdom of the Wicked because it's the last book of the trilogy and I really want to like finish uh, this series before I, like, I forget what happened. So, uh, so yeah, I think the second one, I read it in October, I think, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to pick Kingdom of the Feared, which is the third and final book in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy. And yeah, I'm excited to uh, to finish this uh, series and just I'm excited to know how it ends. And, and yeah, so you can't really like see, but I'm going to like try and 
display them but excited so second prompt uh, and also sorry for the lighting like it's uh, very cloudy and it's raining and uh and yeah so i can't really like do much about that so yeah uh, a book with a one word title so we have glow and this definitely is not the one word and all of them are one word this one too this one i don't think and this one is actually like two words which is like magnolia Park is like two words so you can choose this one uh this one is huge i don't know if i want to like uh, get into this one but uh, so it's between one of those and this one too i think i'm going to choose this one because uh i'm like been reading a lot of uh, fantasy and i want to like switch it up and just read like a uh like a romance like a just normal romance uh but i'm I also want to read Throttled, but this one has been on my bookshelf longer than Throttled, so I, I want to like read this one first. Uh, so yeah, I just want like a quick read. So yeah, I think I'm going to uh, choose this one because yeah, I really enjoyed Icebreaker, so I'm really excited to see uh, what, like, what this one is about. I know it's uh, like about Russ, which, who is the, um, the, the goal like, of the like, hockey, hockey team and yeah so i don't know um this book is not going to be about like a lot of like hockey or like sports rom it's not it's not like a sports romance because uh it takes place at like um a camp not sure like uh what kind of like camp but it's just like a lot of kids and everything to, yeah, things like that so uh so yeah third prompt um the oldest book on your bookshelf the oldest book though it's not, not obviously not all those ones because i just put them there uh those ones i got also i think it's this one so oh no it's um crescent city actually i had it like i i had this book for like a long time and i'm i'm currently like reading it but i haven't finished it and i um and yeah, I, I put it there because if I uh, got this one, then I would have to like finish it this month. And so it, and if I didn't like get uh, this one, and then I would have to just like, I would just like finish it whenever I I want. But this means that I have to finish this huge book uh, this month. So it's going to be uh, hard, but uh, I think we, we can do it. So, so there's two more prompts. So fourth one. A popular book so there's a lot of uh, popular book on on my book card because we have we have this one uh, I think Throttle is also like a pretty popular book but not as popular as this one but we also have Magnolia Parks we Magn <laughs> yes Magnolia Parks we have also this one so and it's pretty popular too so uh, but i think the most like popular book is uh, a coat of thorn and roses and i also wanted to make a video on my channel this month uh, of like me uh, reading the whole series and so uh, it's great that i uh, that like i can choose this one because i wanted to read the or try to read the entire series on uh, this month so so yeah I, so i got this one so yeah, i'm going to choose uh this one because um i i've planned on reading like as much uh of those books as possible so so i am so we have a coat of thorns and roses and so the last prompt we have friends to lovers uh friends to lovers um so not this one this i can't really like choose this one i don't and i don't even know i don't think i think this is enemies to lovers so i think that i'm not going to choose this one then it's just like 
part of a series so and like i'm already planning on, on like reading them so i'm not going to pick those ones and i don't think this is there, there's like any like friends to lovers in this series for those i don't know um so i've read like the back of this one and it doesn't seems like uh they're, they're starting as friends it looks more like an enemy to lovers or like something of that sort but uh and Magnolia Parks is like described as like kind of like Blair and Chuck from like Gossip Girl, so it would like seems like it's uh, and like also friends to lovers or something like that. I know there's uh, the, like um, the two main characters are um, like they already know each other and they already like seeing each other, and then it might like um, be like something more. I I'm not sure, um, but uh, I also have say you swear and uh it looks like uh it's going to be like a friends to lovers i the girl is uh like in love with her like uh brother's best friend i think and he doesn't really know about her and i just think that like something happened and and it seems like something happened and then they they meet or something like that so it just seems like it's like a real like friends to lovers or so, uh, that Maybe they're going to like be friends or something. I'm not sure. Like maybe they know each other, but uh, maybe they're not like strangers. I'm not sure. Like exactly. Actually, I think this one might might be like the most like accurate one. And I don't know. I think both both of them could work, but I think I want to read Magnolia Parks because uh, I don't know. It's pretty like popular, and also some people like don't really like it. And I don't know. I just want to see if I actually like it or not. But but yeah this one is a standalone i think so this would be like just like i read it and then i'm not like in the middle of another series but um but yeah this one i i'm also like intrigued and i think this one would be like quicker to to read because there's like uh pages where there's like text messages so it's like less word on the page so i think it would be like easier and then if i like this one then i will ask for like for the other one for like christmas so yeah i think that would be great because this one i think it's uh it's a standalone so so yeah i'm going to choose magnolia parks and just we'll see if i like it or if i hate it like most people it's just like one or the other that there's no like in between so uh, i'm excited to uh, read it people say it's like gossip girl but like it takes place in the uk i think so so yeah i guess we'll see I'm going to recap everything that we chose for this month so this one doesn't fit uh, down there so it's going to stay there so we have first we have Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco which is the third and final book in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy so I'm excited to finish this series then we have the second book in the a Maple Hills uh, series, so this is Wildfire by Hannah Grace. Then we have to finish finally <laughs> uh, Crescent City, so this is House of Earth and Blood by uh, Sarah J. Mass. We have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass again. Uh, which I'm going to try and read the entire series this month uh, and we'll see if I can uh, do that I'm planning on like trying to finish it in a week and I will uh, film that video uh, so yeah we can uh, try and see if we succeed or not and then the last book we picked is Magnolia Parks oh, so the last book we picked is Magnolia Parks uh, which is like the first book in the Magnolia Pox, Magnolia Pox universe. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to uh, see if what uh, what this is all about and if it's actually like something that I like. I heard it's pretty like toxic, like the relationship between Magnolia and BJ. So uh, we'll see if I like it or not. I like the relationship between Blair and Chuck. So. Uh, if it's like the same vibes then I think that I will like it so um but yeah that's all for uh my uh, December books and it's all like red and I think and then more red <laughs> so 
so there's like a theme going on but yeah um so i still have a lot of uh prompts left so i'm going to um uh keep them and then uh next month which is going to be uh january we are going to uh do another one because it's like so fun i really enjoy like making the video and just like reading the prompts and choosing the books and yeah i'm going to uh, ask for like more books for christmas so that i have more books to choose from for the next month so yeah that's it for today again i apologize for like the lighting it's just it's bad i know but um but yeah, it's like really really cloudy and just like not uh, the best but it's going to be the same tomorrow so I, I can't really like do much about it so so i apologize but um but yeah i hope you enjoyed and uh leave a comment and tell me if you uh enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of that or not and and I will see you in my next video.